Hey, good morning, you guys. It is a cold, rainy, dreary day here in South Carolina. It's 38 degrees outside and been raining for like three days, and I'm sick of it. But nonetheless, we got a busy day today. Um, you know, I told you guys all of our businesses have something to do with recycling. And today I'm going to take you to our landscape supply yard, which is uh, about five minutes down the road from the landfill. Uh, it's called Grassroots Yard Supply. And that is the location where we take a lot of our mulch and our compost and our soil blends, topsoil, sand, um, plants, uh, that type of stuff, and sell it to uh, the general public on a retail platform. So we almost got it open. We're hoping to open March 1st, which is uh, like two weeks away. We've got a lot to do before then but right now we're on our way to the landfill and we're going to go to the greenhouse where we grow a lot of Japanese maples and other little shrubs and plants and stuff and we grow it in our own uh, nursery mix that we create there at the landfill so just want you guys to kind of ride along today and uh, see what we get into we're going to check on the plants load up some of those and then we'll go down to roots as we call it and see what the guys have got going on down there and how close we're getting to, uh, to opening. We finally got the radiant heat system installed in the slab of the, the big greenhouse uh, down at the store. Uh, so I want to explain that thing to you guys. It's really cool. We're taking uh, wood waste from the landfill, of course, and we burn it in the heat water and pump that through the floor uh, of the greenhouse to keep it warm so we don't have to burn a lot of gas. So I want to show, you, show that to you guys, and uh, it's a pretty, pretty cool system. So uh, anyway, we're almost at the landfill here, and uh, we'll go check out the plants, and then we'll head down to Roots. ugly, rainy, wet mess. I got the guys doing some paving. Paving our employee parking area there. And also going to pave out by the road a little bit more. Some more uh, blacktop down. We have a lot of truck traffic come in and out of this place every day and uh, just kind of wore out our, our asphalt. So having to redo that. Here's the greenhouses that I built. We're actually going to have to move these when the recycle center comes along, but it's where we uh, process a lot of non-ferrous wire and metals. And then this is the greenhouse where we actually have the, the plants. Ah, it feels much better in here. You can probably hear the rain coming down. This is an old greenhouse. I built it probably 20 years ago or so and uh, been slowly taking some of the plants down to uh, the store. So just got some grasses, just a bit of random, random stuff, but my true passion is back here and these are all different cultivars of Japanese maples. So I think we've got to be over a hundred different varieties now of Jap maples here. I kind of got an addiction, got a little problem, but uh, anyhow, so they're starting to leaf out a few of them there. And I've been trying to graft. This is my first year grafting. So we take these little trees and then we'll cut sections of others off and graft them onto here to, to propagate and make more of that variety, whatever we're trying to do. So basically just gluing, not gluing, but kind of uh, surgically <laughs> attaching a limb of another Japanese maple to just common rootstock and making a new tree. But it looks like they're doing doing pretty good. So we'll get some of these loaded up and also a little bit of our uh, custom nursery mix that we make. Need a little bit of it down there and we will head down to Roots and hopefully it'll quit raining. I think we're about as loaded down as we want to be. So now let's head to Roots. 
Okay, so here we are at Roots. Just got our trailer unloaded. I was gonna show you around a little bit. Let me turn you around here. So there's our mulch bins and sand. And we bring in some decorative rock as well. That's all the mulch we make at the landfill. Uh, that's a double ground hardwood, red, black, and brown. Again, some of the sands, a lot of the decorative rock. Uh, this is gonna be our parking area. There's a retaining wall we built with blocks that we also make from the recycled concrete. That's the actual store. There's the greenhouse. Our old truck we call Fred. Me and Fred don't get along too good. And these pots, believe it or not, came in the landfill. All those red clay pots. So I put them to use and stuck them in this bank here and I'm gonna plant them. And then in the little black pots, we're gonna plant plants as well. Kind of look like it's, uh, you know, liquid or liquid flowers coming down the berm, if that's even a, a thing. Plants got delivered yesterday. We got more coming. But here's the, the start of it, just the basics. We got all of our fabric laid out yonder, putting in the irrigation. Big Mike's moving some stuff around. We've had a ton of rain. So I washed out my irrigation pipe. It just won't, won't stop. So this is a Atlas Grand Peak greenhouses. They're, they connect right there, called Gutter Connect. Uh, it looks like two houses, but it really is just one. This is the vent wall right here, where we can see, uh, you see your rack system there. Uh, hang on, I think I need to open this up for Big Mike real quick. Here's a three by three post that come in. This is what we're gonna burn back there in our wood, wood burning, burning stove. How about it, Big Mike? What's up, buddy? That's our little cat loader we bought to load trucks and customers with down here. All right, now we'll go back up and I'll show you the, the greenhouse inside. Don't you hit my pot. <laughs> I think you're gonna clear it. Yeah, you good. There you go. So I think I was saying a while ago, this vent wall, that whole wall down the front opens as needed when it gets hot. And then there's a cooling pad behind it that water trickles down and it does an evaporative cooling uh, deal to help cool down the temperatures in the greenhouse. So the greenhouse is coming along. Got a good many plants in here. We're gonna fill it slap up though. There's the cooling pad right there. So coming along. Here's our Crown Royal wood burning stove. So there's 320 gallon tank inside of here. And it, uh, let me see if I can open it up here. So this is where we burn the wood waste. I can't really see a whole lot in there. Anyway, that's where we burn the, the wood waste. It heats that 320 gallons of water and then it pumps it through uh, the floor in the greenhouse to heat the greenhouse, but it also goes over to the building to heat the building and then it will heat the future greenhouse right there as well. And it's working because the fans just came on. So I'll go in and show you how it goes into the the floor real quick with the at the manifold if this door is unlocked and it is nice and warm in here got some more trees came in today got a lot of plugs we still got a plant so here is the manifold uh, there's a pump out there on the stove pumps into here and then these two pumps pump it down into the slab. And it's nice and warm. Very efficient heat, and it'll save us a lot of money. And we're recycling because we're burning a renewable resource 
and it came to the landfill as waste. So uh, pretty sustainable there. And it's, like I said, it's nice and toasty in here. Plants are loving it. We built our porch and Mike took and burned these posts yesterday. It turned out pretty cool. Got all kinds of stuff still coming in. Trying to get organized and get ready to open. Here's inside the store. All kind of decorative pots. There's Aaron and Ashley. What what y'all tearing up? Oh, that was cool. You want me to hit the, uh, the, the quick letter downer? <laughs> E-drop. There's our sign Aaron cut for us to go above the sales counter. And the radio's playing, so I'm sure YouTube will try to copyright me on that stupid song. So... Anyway, that is Grassroots Yard Supply coming along.